Hello everybody. Today I wanted to go over something I've been working on for a while. I'm calling it wall indexing logic and what it does is it takes uh, this sprite which has indexing for uh, say like a, a wall system you want. So you have your like a, an error block is what I call it and this is what we'll be using to edit the rooms with. And it has a single piece, a cap, a straight piece, uh, an elbow, a three piece, and then a four piece connector. And the reason I don't have other elbows, like say an elbow that's going this way instead of this way, is because in the logic, in the script I wrote, uh, based off place meetings, it will actually turn the image angle. And uh, it works it all out for you, which is pretty nice. So let me go ahead and, before anything, show you what it looks like. So I'm, I'm going to go into my room here. And I'm going to place some of these blocks. And the game will just know how to treat them when I run it. So I'm going to hit play. And you see, you see how it shows the elbow. It, it, it knows to use that image index for these certain spots here. And I'll run it one more time with a different pattern just so you can see that it works for other things. So if I edit this and say I want a four piece connector right here, for some reason I want a wall going through like that and then maybe some floating islands, something, uh, it'll work. And it does, you see, you see how it knows that these are the single pieces, this is a cap and another cap. And it's, it's really cool too because instead of using all these objects, because that's, that's a lot of objects, what we can do is in certain cases of room editing, we can, so pretty much straight vertical and straight horizontal. So if I want a floor, I can just scale this and then say I want a wall going up, I can just scale this up. But this will actually look funny when I run the game because um, this is gonna return as a single because there's nothing meeting here and there's nothing meeting here. So it'll, it'll be one of these stretched out and the way we avoid that is it's not by connecting this here because then it would it would try to be a um, a different index than what it needs to be what we do is we leave that little gap there and we place that so this block knows to be the elbow and then this block is now going to be a cap and hopefully when i go a little bit through the logic you'll understand what i mean but we actually need to cap these off so it, it might be a little confusing, but it, 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 it'll decrease the amount of objects you use in a room and it'll still give you that same effect. So you can see it, it did. We have it capped off here and we got those long ones scaled. The only problem is it's, it's not really going to work for um, these walls that have like a texture. I'll show you what I mean. Like if I were to put like pink waves or something through this wall doesn't have to look nice I'm, I'm gonna get rid of that later so it doesn't matter but you can see that um, those stretch out too so you can't really use textures it needs to be this sort of pipe style style excuse me um, and it, you might have noticed that these are gray and when I run the game the uh, color is blue and that's also because it's handled in the script so say I wanted to do different levels with the same style of flooring um, I can just be able to change the color through here through the image blend so i'll show you what i mean if i want them to be uh blue we'll do or they were blue sorry if i want them to be red for rgb full red is 255 and when i run that you'll see that they'll be uh bright red and that and, and they are and that just makes it easy so that i don't have to go through and change the color in the actual image. I can just do it here. So I, I like to leave them white. That way uh, I can just have code handle that for me. So let's go into a little bit what I've done in this script here. I'm not gonna go over all of it because it's um, it's a lot to go over. And I think the basic concept of what ha what's, what's happening and what's going on is more important than going through everything. So the first thing I did was I created an enumerator for the wall indices and the the reason i did this was because um because now i don't have to assign values to the indexes because indexes if you don't know start at zero so 
I'll go into that real fast. So this uh, this block, this editing block, is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Even though it says 1 through 7, it starts at 0 and ends at 6. And so does this um, this enumerator here. So wall error would be 0, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's the same values, uh, and I can use those inside of the logic. So of course, we want to set our image speed to 0, because if we don't, it's just going to be flashing. And I'll show you, I'll show you what I mean, just in case you're new to programming. So if we don't set the image speed to zero, it's going to flash through all the indexes, which kind of looks cool, but it's not what we want. And we want it to do what we want. So put that back and then go into um, some of this heavier logic. So you can see we have these, um, these place meeting checks. And if you don't know what these are, it's basically checking to see in the object. So when this object in the create event, you don't want to put this in a step event or it'll keep doing it and probably bog down your game. So in the create event, when the script is ran, it goes in and all the objects that are in the room check. They check these scenarios. So on this one, if we're meeting at X minus one, so if, if you know like a, a grid, uh, X minus one would be to the left. And then if it's meeting X plus one, so if there's another object plus one, so to the right of it, and if there's one plus one on the Y axis, so plus positive numbers are actually down on the Y axis. It's flipped for some reason. I still don't know. But, um, so if it's meeting down one, and then also if it's meeting up one, then we're going to go and make our image index the wall indices dot wall quad connector. So pretty much this is saying if every part of the block has a place meeting, then we want it to be this, which makes sense because if we have a block up here, which would be y minus one, if we had a block right here, x plus one, if we had a block right here, uh, y plus one, and a block right here, x minus one, and all that is here in the script, and then we want it to be that. So uh, so it looks correct. And then I'll go into another one just in case that didn't make much sense. I'll go into a simpler one. Uh, so this one, this one's going to be for a wall end. So one of those caps that makes the wall look, uh, looks finished and nice. So else if place meeting X comma Y minus one with object wall. So if this object that's loaded into the game, has a place meeting with y plus one, so down, if there's another object below it, and if there's another object above it, then our image index needs to be wall indices dot wall end. And then it's at a 90 degree angle because it needs to turn. And um, sorry, I, I don't know if I went over this being place not meeting. So what we're doing with the not meeting, because I, I think I messed up, so it, what we're doing with the not meeting is we're making sure that we're not at, there's no collision with a uh, Y minus one, which would be up, which in which case, if we go here, cause we're turning at 90. So if there's a place meeting at Y plus one, so down, then we want to turn our indice 90 degrees and they, you need to have them starting at the right. So this, when we turn it 90 degrees, it would actually go this way, and then it would be facing up. And I'll, I'll show you what this looks like in the room. So if we have a place meeting, uh, what was it? It's like this, I believe. Let me, let me check my script real fast. So Y plus one. So if there's down and then not up. So yeah. So this should be facing up and it is that one's facing up. It's a cap, even though it was facing uh, to the right originally. Now it's facing up because the, the logic tells it uh, which way to turn. And then I know this is kind of confusing and uh, it's kind of hard for me to talk about. That's probably why I messed up on this part, but the concept is there. It took me a while to get right. I've been messing with this for uh, quite some time uh, and I'm actually going to be using it in one, one of my upcoming games. 
So the last part I want to go over is this right here. And this line of code is specifically for uh, like Y axis, um, Y scaling stuff. We need it to behave differently. Let me fix that real fast. We need different behavior um, when we scale on the Y axis. So if uh, image Y scale is not equal to one, so and when, when the Y scale is equal to one, it would be at its like regular scale. So it would just look like the normal object. So if it's not like that, then the image X scale needs to equal the image Y scale. And then the image Y scale uh, needs to equal one. So I hope this wasn't too confusing. This this is going to be a uh, asset available for download from the Yo-Yo Games uh, page where you download all the assets. I don't know what it's called, just the, the asset page or something. But I've tried to publish it there before, and there was an issue with the the indexes not going through. I don't know if it was on my end, but these were all broken pretty much, so I had to take it down. I'm going to try again, uh, and if, if it is broken, I'll leave the code up, and hopefully this tutorial, um, you'll be able to copy the code. I'll, I'll pause it at the end, or I'll, I'll show all the code at the end, and um, you can understand. These need to be in a certain order, so actually, you should just be able to see it through the script. So if you download this, and the indexes are broken, the indexes, if you draw your own sprites, are gonna have to be in this order here. So the wall error, which I probably could have called it wall edit, which is the just this block. They, they need to be in this order for this to work. So just be sure if, if these are broken, or even if they're not, say you wanna draw your own, then you need to, um, you need to follow this guideline. So what I mean by that is just the editing block, the single, the cap, the straight, the elbow, tri connector, quad connector, those all need to be in this order. And that's just so the script can run properly. But um, that's it. I know it was kind of a lot to go over, but I think it's really, uh, really fun to use. It makes room editing a lot easier, in my opinion. I don't know if it's better performance wise. I'm not too sure. Uh, I should probably test that. But in the game I'm, I'm making right now, this makes room editing a lot easier. Hopefully I'll uh, be able to get some more tutorials up here pretty soon. Um, I know this wasn't really a tutorial. I like to do the tutorials. It's been a while, so I'll, I'll try to get more of those out. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed this uh, video. And if you did, please uh, like and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.